everybody welcome back to my youtube channel um today i'm with andrea from ang biomedical thank hi you. we're not doing a competition this time good thank god thank god because i'm just <laughs> So today we're gonna talk a little bit about the Medfusion 3500. Uh, when we do a PM or calibration or you know different tests on this device, we're gonna need a the PM kit, which has a small small um, slot, the large slot, and the first um, cap gauge. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I always forget the name of it. <laughs> so um, we're just gonna show how you know when you can use each one of these. So first of all, um, you can go to the biomed mode. So you go to more, select option two, and then uh, you put the secret password. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then. Enter it. I'm sorry, I cannot share passwords with you because I don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> but you can always find it in the service manual. Um, so here on option one, we have calibrations. Option two, we have diagnostics. Option three, uh, utility. Today we're gonna select uh, number two, diagnostics. When we do the PM, we like to check, um, you know, how the machine is performing and make sure uh, everything is within range. So, uh, well, in this case, we're, we want to use the PM kit. So we're going to start checking the um, number five, which is more motor analog sensors. Monitor analog, okay. Uh, I'm sorry, moni monitor analog sensors. So here we have force, uh, the plunger position, and the syringe size. So first of all, before you open sorry. it up, no, it's okay. Before we open it up, we got to make sure that the for sensor, the reading is something between negative 0 0.2 and 0 0.2 pounds. Um, this one is 0 0.07. So now we can um, start using the force gauge. <laughs> you always forget that. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> so, yeah, we can put it here. I feel like today I'm going to be my assistant. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, so then we put this one back. So, mm -hmm. no, you you don't move this one. You're going to uh, adjust it with the screw a little bit so it touches the sensor there. Right there, you're good. Okay, and then I have and to press uh -huh. this one, right? You press that one so it goes back to zero. For some reason, this is upside down. Like, from here, I can see it perfectly. Right. No, I cannot. <laughs> exactly. You have to like read uh -huh. like this. <laughs> anyway, so we're back to zero. Now we need to apply 15 uh, pounds of pressure. So you're going to move the screw again. Mm -hmm. And you're going to go all the way to 15. And our reading on the force should be something between 14 and 16 pounds. because we're supposed to be between 14 and 16 pounds, so. Okay, now uh, we're gonna check the size and position uh, using the, is that, yeah, using the, the slots. So this is the little tiny slot I'm gonna zoom in. <laughs> um, you can put it there. Oh, it's the other one. Thank you. On this one, um, the reading should be um, for the size. Uh, we should have a reading 0 0.256 and 0 0.272. We have 0 0.261. So we're within range. Okay. Within range. And then for the position, we should have a reading between 0 0.680 and 0 0.720. We have 0 0.697 inch. Okay, so we are within range. Yes. <laughs> now we're going to check with the big one. The 
large, I'm sorry, the large slot. For the large slug, we should have a reading uh, for the size, it should be between 1.244 and 1.260 and we have 1.242, okay, 1.242, yeah, oh, so we're out of range, okay. we're out of range, yes, because we should be 1.244, well it says 1.244 and then it changed to 42. Okay, so well, we, this is something that we can still calibrate. Okay, um, and then for the plunger position, um, we should be between 4.680 and 4.720. Uh, 4.702. Uh, so we are really rich in that one. So but with the size we are, we are right, we're not. So for size, we're yeah, we're out of range. I, we can uh, show you guys how to calibrate it so but for now yeah this is what we have um, you know when we can use the calibration kit or the PM kit and for the records like I guess if you lost one of those pieces you have to get the whole kit again most likely and this one must be really easier to lose to lose yeah. <laughs> yeah earlier I was like where did I put it <laughs> <laughs> all right so for calibration guys, uh, in this case, we can calibrate the, the size. So we're gonna go back. Now we okay. can go to number one, which is calibration. Okay. And then number one is size and position. All right, so we're gonna close these. We're gonna read, so it says set up low standard and press continue. So the low standard the with tiny this one. little one Now we have any? You can continue. continue. Okay. And now it's a setup high standard, so this is the high standard. <laughs> okay, and, and then continue. continue. Again? Mm -hmm. And that's it. And then you save the changes. Number seven will save the changes. And now we check the size again just to make sure the calibration is fine. So we go back to diagnostics and to number five, monitor analog, analog sensors. And so for the size, should be something between 1.244 and 1.260. Okay, right now it's 1.250. Yes, we <laughs> made an awesome calibration. Good job. Yay. So you see it's not that complicated as long as you have the kit, read the service manual. Of course there are more tests that uh, have to be performed just to you know do a full PM on the machine. You gotta check the keypad, the screen, the alarms and all of that. Uh, but for now I just wanted to show you guys how to use the, the, the kit. Um, thank you Andrea for being here. Thank you for inviting me. I have found like this one was better than the one that we did last time. <laughs> now we spent like I don't know like 40 minutes doing the video. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so um, thanks guys for watching the videos. If you have questions, comments, suggestions, always feel free to um, uh, comment on the videos and uh, hopefully I'll be uh, we'll be replying back. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.